And the scoreboard looked like a, a, almost a similar game, but very different in terms of watching it. And uh, what did you see from your team not giving up down the stretch there? Well, we, um, five on five, we gave up eight chances against, and we had 11. Um, they scored three on the power play and uh, two off the rush. That's a skill team where we were facing, but the challenge today was to uh, stay with it, work hard uh, with a purpose, and uh, no matter what the score says, uh, keep pushing and keep pushing and creating good habits. And they did. Not happy with the score, obviously, um, but the process was right. Uh, we had great scoring chances, and uh, they took advantage of their chances. Their power play is pretty good. But overall, um, you don't win a hockey game, you're not happy. But the way that those guys played, um, there, there's something to be said about that. The compete level was right. A lot of young men looking pretty mature out there for your team tonight. Uh, one of them being the guy who played his first AHL game and ended up having to play second line minutes after an injury. What did you think of Peterson tonight? I liked him. Um, Obviously, there's a lot to take in when you first uh, come here and then try to play the system right. But he was um, what I liked about him is I asked him before um, he played that game. I asked him what kind of player he was, and he defined himself exactly um, the way he's, he, he played the game: hard on the puck, uh, hard on the forecheck, kind of power forward kind of player, and. Uh, he, and that's what he brought. So he knows about his game. He knows what he can be good at, and he brought it. So it's one thing to say things. It's another thing to do it. And um, so I really like this compete level. We scored that goal, Spachek's goal. He's right in that front. Um, because of our numbers, he was also asked to be on the power play. Um, and he did, a, he did a pretty good job. So that's pretty impressive for a first game. We just talked to Charles uh, David Baudouin about making that leap from being a guy that's here on a tryout to you know making an impact with the team a player like alexi daou who's played some a lot of minutes for your club lately uh what can those sort of players do to to make a spot for themselves at when the team gets healthy yeah well you know what uh, everybody everybody wants a, an opportunity at some point um a lot of players are waiting for that kind of opportunity and and once in a while there's a team like the moose uh, and they're they have so many injuries that opportunities will be given and and not only to dress for a game but to play heavy minutes and, and to play uh, in different roles and uh, Dao is doing a good job Poirier got injured tonight but he was doing a good job and and some of those guys like Peterson did a good job tonight and and some guys take advantage of their opportunities and then you don't know where it's gonna it's it's gonna lead you know, where it's gonna bring them but um, um, when those guys take advantage of what's in front of them um, and, and there's some results, and then good things will happen. We talk a lot about controlling what you can control. Um, luck is a weird force in sports. It's, we had Charles tell us that some bounces didn't go your way tonight. And then when you look at the injury list, it feels almost cursed at this point. How do you sort of battle that? Because that's another kind of adversity that your team's dealing with. Yeah. Well. There's, we can't control the weather, right? We can't control what's happening to our hockey team. Injuries are injuries, and I've never seen this, um, and it's been for a little while now. But at the same time, I think what what's happening to you is one thing. It's how you react, and we've heard that quote in the past. And it's 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 all about that. It's it's tells you about your character, it tells you about your your values, it tells you about who you are as a person and, and the way we face the game today and the way we, we approach the challenge, it was the right way to do it. Big difference between tonight and last night. The score, we didn't win those games, but the way we were playing those games, we're creating good habits and that goes a long way. And last one, for yourself, coaching a team last year that is pretty different from coaching this team right now this year. Do you look at that as a challenge and something that is almost fun as a coach, something taking on that, what, something that is a big challenge? Yeah, well, fun, I wouldn't use the word fun, but because um, winning is fun. Um, but this is a different challenge, and we can, we think, we can take some pride in, in how we manage those situations. And, and last year, you're winning, and at some point, you don't even know how to lose anymore. Um, 
but for us as coaches um, how we react how we we keep the the the, the team um, focused on what needs to be done on a daily basis when you have great success like we had last year and um, and this year well success is is harder to get and uh, and and for different reasons but it's a different kind of challenge and and when we look back when we will look look back at the season um, we need to be able to say we've done the right things and the right things is to push our players to make them realize that it's one day at a time and it's never as bad as you think you are it's never as good as you think you are it's staying in that mindset one day at a time and doing the right things and when you do that consistently then you create confidence and when you have confidence and you have some success then you're building something and that's what we're doing here